hey guys welcome back today we're making your cookies so i do have to say before we start is that i have changed my mind a little bit i originally told you guys we we're gonna make three recipes together and to save my mental health we're gonna do two <laughs> so i want to say thank you to everyone who sent in their recipes even though we're not gonna make all the recipes together i'm gonna share everyone's photos and facts with you guys because i thought that'd be fun so i wanted to say thank you to Kelly, Vanessa, Beatrice, and Marissa for all sending in their cookie recipes. So I am going to start with Marissa. I'm going to share her facts and then um, I'll be putting the photos across the screen um, while I share everyone's facts. So Marissa is from Oregon or Oregon. I don't know. How do you guys say it? Oregon? Oregon? But anyways, her three facts. She has a daughter who will be turning two in January. Her name is Adeline Bell, and her middle name is named after Beauty from Beauty and the Beast um, because her and her husband love that story, and she walked down the aisle to that song, to the song Beauty and the Beast at their wedding. So I thought that was really sweet. And then her last fact is that um, music is their family's favorite thing, listening or playing. She said that her husband plays the guitar, and she can play the, I think it's like a hone cone drum we have one of those at our church i think i'm saying that right i hope <laughs> all right so then um beatrice i will you guys will see her photos right here so she sent us some photos of her two daughters i'm afraid i'm gonna say their names wrong but beatrice is from france and she's so sweet she comments on all of my videos so thank you beatrice <laughs> um but her daughters I really hope that I'm saying this right, but she has a nine-year-old daughter and a five-year-old daughter. Her nine-year-old daughter's name is Faustine. Am I saying that right? I hope. It's a pretty name. It looks pretty. Oh, it's, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I hope I am. And Elise, which I think I'm saying that right, and she's five. And they have a, a dog named Rio. <laughs> He's two months old. That is so sweet. They are adorable. And the cookies that you guys made in these pictures look really good. So thank you, Beatrice, for sending your recipe. Then Vanessa is 21 and from Chicago. She found, I think she found my channel from watching my boot camp videos. So I feel like half of the people that watch my channel, that's why they started watching and the other people, it's completely unrelated. So <laughs> that's kind of funny. Vanessa's fun facts is that she is engaged to a Marine. So that is super fun and exciting. She just graduated college this semester with a bachelor's degree in accounting and finance. That's awesome. Good job. And number three, she loves dogs and currently has a boxer puppy. That's so Cute. Lastly, I want to thank Kelly for sending us the recipe. So Kelly is 25. She is married to her husband. They've been married for three years. He is in the Coast Guard and they have a four month old baby boy. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. And they're currently stationed in Alaska. So uh, that's crazy. I've never been to Alaska. I, th I think a lot of people haven't. Um, if you've been to Alaska, comment down below. But um, I just want to say thank you to Kelly for sending your recipe. Even though I'm only going to be making two of these recipes, I am going to link all of them or leave them all down below with the instructions and everything. Thank you again, everyone, for sending in your cookie recipes. So fun. So exciting. So the two cookie recipes that we're going to make today, we are going to be making some colorful cookies. And this recipe is from Vanessa from Chicago. And then we're also going to be... Where did my light go? Then we're also gonna be making some no-bake cookies and this recipe is from Marissa from Oregon. Oregon? Oregon? Oregon, the Oregon Ducks, is that a thing? Oregon, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm not good with my states. Um, and just a disclaimer, I have the cookie dough for the colorful cookies. I, I whipped it up real quick. Um, so all the steps will be in the description below. I'm just trying to, I have a lot of things I need to get done today. And I'm trying to get as much done as possible right now while Scarlett, blah, 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 while Scarlett is napping. If you guys saw my post yesterday, I'm sorry. This week has been kind of weird for videos. Um, we found out yesterday Scarlett has a double ear infection, so she's been pretty grumpy. Her sleep has been all over the place. Last night was much better, so that was wonderful. But um, I don't know how long she's going to nap. So I'm trying to maximize this nap and get as much done as possible. I got four loads of laundry fold and put away. So anyway, I wanted to just get the cookie dough assembled before um, I started recording just to have that done. So I will tell you guys the ingredients for the colorful cookies. 
Uh, you need a box of white cake, and my kitchen is kind of a mess, so we're just gonna ignore it, okay? This is real life. I'm being real with you guys. You guys don't care. We're hanging out. We're making cookies in our grout fit. Life is good. So anyway, for the colorful cookie dough, let me see if I can set you guys on top. For the colorful cookie dough, you are gonna need a box of just a white cake mix. Then, I wrote everything down. Then you will need three quarter cups of flour, six tablespoons of room temperature butter, a half cup of sugar, two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then a cup of sprinkles. And I thought this was um, so cute. Vanessa called them jimmies. And so I don't know if this is like a ge is geographic. I don't know if this is like a family thing or it, like a land area thing. My family called them sprinkles. I know some people call them jimmies and like working at an ice cream place, um, some people do call them jimmies. So I don't know, what do you guys call them? Do you call them sprinkles or jimmies or something else? Um, so I use some really weird ones that I have <laughs> because I don't have like normal sprinkles. So I put in silver and green sprinkles and you wouldn't believe it, but my dough is turning red, which is fitting for Christmas. <laughs> but um, I think whatever is in the silver sprinkles is turning red, which is a little bit alarming, but it's fine, everything is fine. And then you can also use icing and you'll need cookie cutters for that recipe. So, um, first step, you're gonna put the cake mix, flour, butter, and sugar into the bowl of your stand mixer and then you're gonna mix it well, for two minutes. Then next you're gonna add your eggs one at a time. Um, I did it while it was still mixing, so I think that's what you're supposed to do. Add the eggs while it's still mixing and then um, add the vanilla and let it continue to mix until it looks like a dough. It might take a little while to come together. Um, the recipe calls for one teaspoon of vanilla and I definitely did not measure. You guys know me and my vanilla. I just I just dumped it in there. Um, so now it is looking like dough. I just need to look up the next step. I wanted to do that together with you guys. I'm going to roll the dough out on the counter and then we're gonna refrigerate the rolled dough for 30 minutes. And so while it is refrigerating, we're gonna get started on the no bakes, which I'm very excited to make. I've never actually made no bakes before. I've had them, but I've never made them myself. So very exciting. Um, and then in case I forget to mention this later, I don't know. I don't I don't know what my plan is for this video, guys. I'm just trying to get this out there for you guys. I hope that it comes together well, but I'm not sure if it's gonna. So we're making our cookies together. It's gonna be fun, okay? So anyway, after we refrigerate the dough, we're gonna cut the dough into the shapes with our cookie cutters and then bake for 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees. And then after they're cooled, you can decorate them. So I, um, we had to get a lot of Christmas treats, so I did not get any icing, but that's okay. We're just gonna do them like sugar cookie style. They're gonna be adorable. I'm excited to try these. I think they're gonna taste amazing as cookies. Like, oh, I'm excited about this. So. What I'm gonna do is wipe down my counter, then roll it out, and you're supposed to put it on a parchment lined baking sheet, I think, and I ran out of parchment paper and just keep forgetting to get some from the store every time I go grocery shopping. <sighs> Anyone else do that? So I'm, <sighs> what am I gonna do? I'm gonna roll out the dough first, that's what I'm gonna do. So, dough is in the oven. I am going to for 30 minutes, and we're going to get started on the next cookies. So, I'm just going to talk to you guys like this for a sec. Um, if you guys make the colorful cookies, make sure to add flour to your counter before you roll it out. Um, I don't know what is wrong with me, but like rolling things out stresses me out. Like, it just always does. So, if you add enough flour, I think it's because like when it sticks, it's like a like I can't. So, I finally got enough flour on my counter and fixed it so we're all set I feel like you can't see me I am going to give you guys the rundown for the no-bake ingredients and obviously I never used to know why these are called no-bakes which is so silly of me but it's because you don't bake them they just cool <laughs> so all right 
this one also you needed parchment paper for and since I don't have any I'm just going to line my cookie sheets with um, foil since you can just let them set um, I think I'll probably let mine set in the fridge which I'm sure is what a lot of people do but I am so glad that you sent me this recipe Marissa because my dad loves no bakes like loves them and so for Christmas Eve we're doing last year we started a new tradition for Christmas since last year was our first Christmas married and all and after our christmas eve service at church we have our families over and we do like games and snacks so keep in mind these are people that we've been with uh, at least four days a week every week so nobody needs to get worried okay about anything everything is fine if you have family members you can't see right now that's okay that's why we're getting together with people we're getting together with but i hope regardless everyone has a very happy and merry christmas and has lots of good memories with whoever you are getting to spend with this year anyways long story or short story long honestly that's, that's more like it back to the ingredients you're going to need a half cup of unsalted butter i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna use salted butter uh just because that's what i have so that's fine it'll be fine i promise then you're going to need two cups of sugar, a half cup of whole milk, or you could also use 2% milk. If you can't have dairy, I'm sure you could sub it for something else. Then you will need four tablespoons of cocoa powder, a pinch of salt, a half cup of peanut butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and three cups of quick cooking, quick cooking oats, quick cooking oats. <laughs> so um, I'm going to also explain the instructions really quick. So in your four quart saucepan, which I do not have, <laughs> I have a two and a half quart one, so I'm gonna use my good old pea soup colored, what is it, a stock pot? I love that thing, I use it all the time. But anyway, we're gonna use that. <laughs> and you're going to put in the butter, sugar, milk, and cocoa powder, and then bring it to a boil, let it boil for one minute, then remove from the heat, and we're gonna add everything else. So the pinch of salt, I'm, I'll probably add a little bit, but since I'm using salted butter, it might take the place of it. I don't know. And then uh, this is the peanut butter I'm going to use. It is the one from Aldi, my favorite peanut butter. Also the best price for peanut butter ever, in case you need to know. So yeah, we are going to get making these. I'm so excited because I think my dad's going to be excited. So I hope these turn out good. And I don't usually like go for a no-bake, but like I've been thinking about these since she sent me the recipe and I'm like ready to eat one let me tell you what so <laughs> anyways let's start making our no bakes woo, woo, woo. no bakes are almost done they just have to set and they smell so good leah is here scarlet just woke up i'm about to go get her but leah's here and she says that it's smelling good so let me actually check it out there is two more minutes left on the timer for the colorful cookies in the fridge the dough is almost done chilling so i'm gonna go get scarlet and then we'll do the next thing as soon as we can <laughs> Alright guys, I'm in front of the window, just for some better light, 
both of those recipes were really really good I have a little bit of the no bake in my mouth and the colorful cookies taste like sugar cookies and they hold their shape really well so if you make them and want to uh, make cutouts they it works super well they don't really um they didn't really spread too much which is awesome so thank you guys for sending me your cookie recipes I hope you enjoyed this maybe we can try it again next year or for the next holiday like that I don't know Valentine's Day <laughs> or Easter I don't know We'll try to think of something, but it was really fun to get to interact with you guys in a different way. I hope you guys watching enjoyed getting to learn about some of my subscribers. I know I loved hearing from you guys. And just thank you again for participating and supporting me. It means so much. So thank you guys. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And um, so I am planning to do Christmas Eve and Christmas vlogs, but I do not know when they're going to go up. So I obviously want to just spend time with our family and enjoy enjoy all the moments enjoy scarlet's first christmas but i definitely want to vlog them so i will be vlogging them they will probably just go up the week after christmas so yeah i hope you guys still enjoy watching them but if i don't see you again soon i hope you guys have an awesome christmas if you're traveling stay safe everyone i hope you stay healthy and just have a wonderful day and remember why we celebrate this holiday bye